Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here, just kind of chilling with the bins. Yeah, got a couple of boxes in the mail, which can only mean one thing. We're gonna put a stop to this Mercedes. Also, I'm wearing gloves, you know why? No glove, no love, baby. Let me show you what's going on right now because the light in the dash right here, this yellow light indicates the brake pads have reached the end of their lives. So it is time to put on some new brake pads. I do want to show you how close we are to 200,000 miles. Look, I'm 36 miles away. I just did that math in my head right there as I was pointing. It's pretty good. Yeah, Mike's a smart guy, but he buys really stupid cars. Okay, some of the cars are stupid. Most of them, like this one, are very, very nice. All right, step number one, you got to jack up the car, take off the wheels, but look at this. Yeah, buddy, this is from oh, 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 Randy at a, out at uh, Auto Auction Rebuilds. My voice still hasn't come back. I'm feeling better. I think I had the cold or the bug that was going around, but the voice is not back, but the body is ready. So let's see how this thing does. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, how easy was that? Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Do it again. Oh, 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at this. Look how easy. Look how easy. One more. One more. And look at that. We are, okay, that was like 45 seconds. This would have taken about three or four minutes with my trusty old hand tool. Yeah. Love this. Love this. Randy. Thank you. This is eerily similar to the ML. Yeah, the W163 brakes. Usually you have two bolts, you take half the caliper off, and you have access to the brake pads. Not so. Oops. My lighting system has failed. Dadgummit. I'm trying to make it nice and professional. Okay, so on this, basically, you just have two little pins. You kind of hammer these out. This is your spring right here, okay? And this just holds the brake pads in. This is your brake pad wear indicator wires, okay? Right here, these are. This is gonna be super easy, okay? We're gonna be positive. Hammer these out, remove the spring, clean these things up, take your pads out. These just basically, let me show you. These are just going to unplug, okay? See, one, two. Just like that. Okay, let's get to work. Yay. Because my tool set is so complete, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Not difficult not difficult at all I just don't have my pins my little things to do this okay see how they just come out one and two and then you can hopefully grab these if not you can hold them with your pliers and give the pliers a little tippity tap okay okay Mike needs lights. Mike needs to invest in some light bulbs because this is ridiculous. Okay, this is really kind of ridiculous. Sit there, sit there people. Okay, let's see if we can do it again. Okay, that is a pin. Dad gum, you stupid light. Dad gum, you stupid light. Let's do it again. Okay, it's coming. See?
Come on, light. <laughs> that one jumped. Come here. Okay. Yeah, I always keep one of these with me. But let's take these out so you can see how much pad is left. I'm not thinking there's very much. Okay. Well, let's just kind of work this out. There it is. Okay. We're going to clean that up too. I uh, can't see. Go back in. Go back in. Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. I'm pushing. There we go. There. Go back inside. Go back inside. Okay, now this will come out. And look. Ah! That is wafer thin. See how this? Okay, this is your indicator. See how this has been rubbing on your rotor? This is what is illuminating the light. The light illuminator right there. Okay? So we're going to put the outside ones there. And we're going to put the inside ones once we get them to loosen up. Come on. Just easy, easy, easy. I don't like to push much on the rotor. I really don't. I'd rather go this way. But you got to get it started. Okay, can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, I'm covering it up. Yeah, so we're pushing this there. Okay. And voila. Look, once again, your indicator has been rubbing up against the rotor, and that's why the light is on. These things are history. Let's look at the new ones. I want to show you guys the difference, okay? What a difference a new pad makes. This is the old one, okay? See how wafer thin? This is the new one. Take a look at that. Look how much meat. It's beefy. Look at that guy right there. Yes, sirree. Little bitty, big and beefy. So we're going to slide this guy back into here. Come on, come on. You kind of want to make sure the holes line up so you can get that pin through. <clears throat> I've gone ahead and cleaned this up a little bit. Um, this actually came off <laughs> when I took the wheel off. So this has been done recently, <clears throat> which is good news. I might put some more uh, lube in there. <clears throat> make sure you got it going the right way. So you put that little nose piece in the hole. Get it all lined up, and it should just slide right down in there. Look, see? You hear the click? Yep. Okay, so that's one. And we'll put this guy right in here. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, apparently it's gone back a little bit. So let's do this. Okay. Here we go. There. And a little tap. Okay. That one's in. We'll put the pin in the other one right here. And we should be good to go. We're back. Remember, outer on top. And bottom inside goes like that. But we do have to put the spring and the little pins in as well. So what I'm going to do is here's my spring. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Put a little dab of this brake grease that you get on it. Okay. Right here in the middle. Right here in the middle. Okay. There. And there. See? Voila. Now, on my brake pins, I'm going to, I've kind of cleaned these up a little bit. I'm going to put this same grease all over it and we should be good and ready for reinstallation a lot of times these little pins right here get kind of gross okay so let's put the plate in your little wires gotta move your little wires gotta move a little bit okay there, just like that. See, it goes right there. 
and then your pin has to go through the caliper, then it goes through the brake pad, and then it goes through, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna start it there. See how we're through? Push the spring back. Okay. Then I'll put some more grease on pin number two. See, you just kind of lube it up here. Okay. Hopefully this one's kind of in alignment. Good. Go through here. You gotta hold the spring clip down. Goodness gracious, that's a heavy one. Okay. Now you line up the hole. So you got a hole here, you got a hole there, and you got to get the pin through both of the holes, which can be lots of fun. And look just like that. There's one. Let's see if I can get this guy up here to do something marvelous as well. Okay. Okay. You were kind of lined up. Let's see what happens if I give you a tap. Of course. The light comes down. Okay. So we're going to pound this until the pin pokes out of here a little bit. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and put these in. Okay. One, and there is two. Okay, make sure they've got room. They don't rub on anything. And we can get this in, and we will be good to and go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the front brakes on the W126, the 560 SEL. It is repeat on the other side. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that without filming it, and then we will move to the back. What we have here is the rear right wheel. All right, and thank you again, Mr. Randy. Yeah, I love this thing. It's heavy and it's heavy duty, which I love. Okay, this is the same setup, okay? We have two little pins right here. We have the spring, this comes out, the pads come out, and everything is fine and dandy. So let's just get to work here. Um, maybe I'll do some uh, fast motion with some music. Because it's basically just the same setup. Let's do that. All right, what are we working with here? Well, okay, so here's one. You can see a little bit of, let me do the light here a little better. Okay, now. Yeah, there's a little bit of pad left on that one. Look at this guy. Huge. Huge. Okay, we're about halfway done. But since I want to make a video, we're going to do it like this. So we're going to make sure these are still the same. These weren't packaged as nicely as the Brembos. These are the Centrics. Yeah. Um, Centric Parts, City of Industry. I hope they're good breaks. We're fixing to find out. Okay, so we're just gonna put these in and see how life goes. All right, installation, just the same. Okay, you got the two pads that slide right in there. You put a little grease on your spring and on your little pins right here. You can kind of line them up dry and then put the lube on them and everything else. And then you are good to go. So, let's see how we're doing with the alignment. We'll just give it a couple of taps. And you see how it's kind of coming through right there? See, just like that, a couple of taps, and it's coming through. Look at that. Oh, thank you, light. Yes, Mike's going to go buy some lights. Lined up with the holes, because the rotor's not going to move. On the front wheels, you put it in 12 o'clock. Hole on the top, and then you know where to go. All right? Let me see here. Going to get these all started, and then I'm going to use my power tool. strip anything okay you ready for this dude oh, 
Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, hello. Look at that. Star pattern. Look how nice. Okay, now I'm going to torque them down with my hand tools. But thank you, Randy. I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, very quickly, let me just show you now that we have brake pads. Look what happens when you hit the brake. Nothing lights up, buddy. Nothing lights up. So we have successfully changed all four brake pads. Well, actually eight on four wheels. Yeah, but look, look how nice. Yay me. All right, that's going to wrap it up for putting on brake pads on the W126, the 500 SEL, also the 500 SEC, 380 SEC, 500 SEC. Um, I'm sitting here admiring my sticker. Look at that. Why would this from France be on the back of my car? I don't know. Maybe it did go to France. I don't know. How can I find out? If you know, let me know. Please like, please subscribe. I'm trying to get these videos out as soon as I can. Still have the Crossfire, the Chris Crossfire, and all the other cars. They're all coming up. Let me know what I should fix next, because every car needs something fixed. All right, folks, thanks for liking. Please subscribe. I need to get those subscribers up, and have a great day, okay, everybody? Bye.